Good afternoon and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. I don't know why I sound like I have allergies. Um, I don't know if it's actually allergies, but I'll be totally honest, guys. Like, for the last, like, probably week or so, for whatever the reason, ever since, like, that, like, over this weekend was that, like, su those super hot days and everything like that, and then it kind of cooled down, I've noticed that my air conditioner, like, has been blowing right on me, and I've, I, I adjusted my air conditioner from being, like, on low cool, but at a higher setting to high cool at a, like, lower setting, um, not quite as low, but, like, like I said, over that weekend when it was, like, 100 degrees and whatever, um, that was just, like, crazy ridiculously hot <laughs> um so I changed that so I could have it you know blow cooler in here but so then I, I, again I kept it the same over this week and I noticed like I felt like I'm almost getting like the flu like my body like feels like it's almost aching like today again now I feel like I have like but this has been like all week almost and like I feel like I, my nose like is stuffy and stuff like that pretty much all week as well but then today like right now it feels like kind of worse um, and so I don't really know, like, if it's from my air conditioner that that's, like, why I'm feeling like that. Like, obviously, um, Monday through Wednesday and then also today we were babysitting. So it's, like, I haven't been in my room for that long and it's only when I'm in my room that I notice, like, that. Like, I feel like my arms are, like, sore, like, my bones, like, feel sore, like, my, not my bones, but, like, my, my, like, joints or whatever. Like, I just feel like I have aches and pains and stuff like that, like, in my arms and my legs. And, like, like, you do kind of when you feel like you're getting the flu, but it's lasted all weekend. Like, I haven't gotten sick, so that's why I'm, like, yeah, I'm not, like, the flu. Like, I don't know if it's, like, allergies or, like, if it's from, like, having the cold air blowing on me like I don't think I'm actually sick but I don't know if like that's why like <laughs> or what's going on um but yeah so that's why guys I found, sound a little stuffy but I was actually laying in the living room like on the recliners and whenever I'm laying down normally I get really stuffy just from like at normal allergies and all that kind of stuff but um, I finished my grocery list because we're going to go to the stores, grocery stores in the morning. Um, and then, honestly, guys, I feel like this week I kind of slacked on stuff. But I will tell you guys, to be totally honest, I didn't do my planner this week. So I feel like maybe that's why. Um, but I didn't, um, I did make my grocery list to go to the grocery stores. I think I only edited four vlogs in total for this week. Like, not, like, I thought I'd be caught up by this week. Um, and I actually would technically be, like, three days behind because I only edited four um instead of like actually catching up um so yeah and then on top of that too um this morning I thought I was babysitting like at the normal time I told you guys I was like oh, I'm kind of stressing out because like Jack is supposed to go to that football thing in the morning and go to that like seven on seven tournament and then um we were babysitting like in the morning and then we we're supposed to have like I don't know, like an adjuster or something like that supposed to come out, look at our roof and everything like that and the damage and stuff like that from like our storms and stuff, um, like hail and wind and storm damage um, to like for our roof because obviously I told you guys, what was it, last weekend or whatever, that the rain was, when it was raining so bad and it was, yeah, my parents' bedroom. Um, so yeah that was a problem <laughs> but they came out this week and they were coming out today and so like I was like oh my gosh all this stuff is happening well little boy we were babysitting for didn't end up coming until about like 11 30 or so um which is when his grandma dropped him off instead and so um he came later Jack ended up getting home like about noon or something like that um, or maybe about like 12 30 so he was only here for like somewhere between like a half hour to like an hour um like while well, Jack wasn't here like kind of just like helping entertain and stuff like that but the fun thing guys that we did do today which I have some outside footage for you guys today um out of the house and actually some pretty entertaining footage um we ended up going and seeing a train guys that was actually passing through um it'll actually be here all weekend which is another thing too my aunt and uncle are supposed to now be coming to our house possibly tomorrow we're gonna drive them and drop them off so that they can get close enough to see it although we got parking actually in our library parking lot um but there might not be like that much it was honestly people have said 
the traffic has been crazy in our little town for like the last like I don't even know how long um other than like earlier today it wasn't that bad but then like all afternoon today I just have seen people like posting like crazy like I can't believe the traffic's so horrible it's just like crazy and all this kind of stuff um because of this train that is coming through it is the last I think guys the last active steam locomotive um that is like still like I guess active <laughs> um and it actually now goes in like tours and stuff like that so there was tons of people out there to see it today and I do have footage for you guys But um, from my understanding, it's from like the 1940s um, and it is passing through. It'll be here, I think, until Tuesday and then it's leaving on Tuesday. Um, but we actually got to see it while they were moving it from like point A to where it's staying, I believe, until Tuesday. Um, so I actually don't think until it actually leaves that it's supposed to be moving anymore until then. Um, so yeah, it's it was kind of cool to see at first. My mom was like, oh, let's go see this. And like the little boy we were babysitting for go take him with and my mom was like at first I was like I don't know if that's gonna be like the most entertaining thing like it's just a tray and like I kind of was thinking like oh like it'd be kind of cool and stuff like that um you know to go and see and everything like that um but like I didn't know how like entertaining it was gonna be and he said it was really cool he actually likes going and seeing it um and it was like I said pretty cool to like go and see it move and he's very like I think he likes like science and like you know math kind of stuff like that um and so I think for him it was very cool like you know he was asking questions about like the steam engine and like we read um the book it's called Mike Mulligan and his steam engine um which isn't actually a train it's like a like a digger um but we read that book actually I think like the first or first week or something like that that he was here and so when we were talking about it I mentioned the book that we had read which he had I think read like his or his in his school or something like that or maybe his mom read it or something but he had said he heard it before and so like we were talking about that today and like kind of correlated in those two things together and so like the fact that he actually got to see what it looked like you know in a steam engine you know train um like I said although it's a little different than in the story but you know he was like asking questions about like oh what's like a steam engine and how does it work and stuff like that and so we were like even to googling some stuff like so that we could feed him the information and know ourselves as well um but it was it's a really cool thing to see like you know that is probably something you're not gonna like see you know very often other than like again when it's touring so, so i think touring the midwest and it actually came to our neighborhood which is pretty cool they have honestly uh, for some reason I don't know why not crazy a lot but they do tend to have a lot of like people camp out to like see these like unique trains that pass through um like in our town it seems like it happens a lot which we're very train populated <laughs> um we have lots of like railroad tracks um and like just like a big junction um it used to be like very big like a super big like train hub um you know a long time ago so i think that's why like we're so like you know our history is so rooted in like trains and the railroad and stuff like that that's why a lot of um trains and like you know train tourist people i guess or whatever you know tend to come through as well to like view a lot of trains because i see people a lot of times like camping out near the tracks i never saw as many people 
like as today there were people all over the place it was seriously crazy like i've never seen that many people and then like i said too we didn't have bad traffic because we literally drove down like two streets to get back to our house um from like where we were so that was pretty nice but um like i said people that were like trying to get to other places said that the traffic was just absolutely crazy and then on top of all of that too they had construction on one of the streets so you couldn't go all the way through um so it was a little kind of like mass chaos but like i said we had absolutely no problem getting in we found a parking spot and then we were able to leave and get right back home in like no time at all the longest part today was actually waiting for the train to start it was supposed to happen at like 2 30 i think or something like that i think it didn't happen until like closer to three o'clock um but that's because they were waiting for like all these commuter trains had to go through so that everybody could actually see it and stuff like that when it was actually like moving down the tracks but it was a really cool experience i think and like something that you can be like i gotta see that you know um and like i said i think the little boy that we were babysitting for enjoyed it as well so um i did like i said record that for today while we were out but i need to take a shower and get to bed so we'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshine faces tomorrow so bye guys